Today, I'm going to unbox this window hummingbird feeder, put it together, and along the way, show you exactly what makes it work so well. This particular model is called the Jewel Box. It's made by a company called Aspex and holds up to eight ounces of nectar, which is the perfect amount for my backyard. I've used it for many, many years with some incredible success. And make sure you stick around to the end to see some close-up video I took of the hummingbirds actually using this feeder. All right, let's get started. One thing I did want to mention, I really like buying feeders from Aspects because of their lifetime guarantee. And it talks about it right here that basically for the life of their feeders, it will cover any damage or defects that might happen assuming it's not just because it's dirty or weathered and just looks bad. So if it's defective or breaks, they'll replace it. And this is true because I have definitely had a, um, another actually window feeder I had, I snapped off a piece of plastic and it wouldn't work anymore. And they replaced it. No questions asked, sent me the part and it was, and it was working again. So they really do stand by this. Okay, so let me first, as you'll see, there's some hardware and things in the middle, which we'll get to here in a second. But first thing is, this is what we like to call the nectar reservoir or the basin that you put in the sugar water. And this is where right here, you'd put the eight ounces of um, nectar into the feeder. And you see, it, it's nice. It closes and opens very, very easily. And it pops right out. So also on top, You'll notice that the top here lid is red. Pretty much every hummingbird feeder around is red is because hummingbirds are actually attracted to the color red. A lot of the types of flowers that have a lot of nectar in it naturally are red. So they've evolved and adapted to, um, yeah, love this color. So that's why the top is red. These right here are the feeding ports. There are three of them. And this is where the hummingbird is gonna stick its beak and tongue to get to the nectar in the reservoir. I also like in this, they got this this um, we call this a feeding perch so you know it's a lot of hummingbirds when they come and eat they just kind of hover flap their wings and put their you know beak and tongue right in to a flower or a feeder but they also if they have a perch like this a lot of times you'll see them resting especially on your window it's neat if you give them a spot to rest you can sit there they'll land right here take a little break while they eat so it gives them a little extra chance to to sit there and and you take a look at them all right that's pretty easy enough this part I don't know if you've ever had a hummingbird feeder that attracted tons and tons of ants. I know that I have because ants love the sugary sweetness of the nectar that you use in hummingbird feeders. So a lot of hummingbird feeders have what's called an ant moat and that's exactly what this is. You don't have to use it. As you'll see here in a sec, you can use it or not use it. But the point of it is when you set the hummingbird feeder up, you're going to fill this whole area with water which creates a moat, which hence the name, an ant moat. So once you put, so just imagine this is filled with water, you put this inside of it, the ants are not, this is gonna be hanging on your window, the ants are not gonna be able to cross over to the actual feeder. Okay, let's move on to how this is gonna actually attach to your window. And that's what this next pieces and parts are. So it comes with this bag and in it are some suction cups and screws. So. It actually comes with two suction cups, comes with two long screws, and these two um, much shorter screws, and these spacers. So these, I'm gonna move these aside and ignore them because these are included in case you want to put this feeder not on your window, but on your deck or somewhere else. You would, in that case, you would skip the suction cups and you would put this in and screw it directly in. So there's instructions on that piece of paper I had earlier but for today I'm, I'm using this on my window so I am just going to be using this bracket the suction cups and this so next let's get these on there so how we do this is we're actually gonna need a screwdriver so you put line it up here let me get my screwdriver out work better yeah much better okay Look at that, suctioned right to the table. Okay, next one we'll put in. Screw it right in there. All right, so now we have our bracket. So this is what we're going, and we'll show you here in a sec. We're gonna attach this to the window. This is attached to the window, and look, there's these grooves right here. 
just sits just like this. This is going to be attached to your window, and here's how the hunger feeder is going to sit. Again, if you don't want the ant moat, move that aside. This just attaches just like that. Very easy. What's also great about this design is that, you know, probably once a week, maybe more, maybe less, depending on your weather, you're going to have to change the nectar inside of this feeder. Well, it's kind of a pain if you have to take down the suction cups every time. So this is going to stay suctioned to your window. And look, you can just take that off right there. This is stayed to the window. You can take this inside, clean it out, wash it out, put fresh nectar in there, snap it in there. And there you go. So once again, yeah, this is an awesome hummingbird feeder. It gives a place for the hummingbirds to rest. It's red, so it attracts them. For me, it's the perfect size. There's not too much nectar that's going to get wasted. And once I put this up, I see hummingbirds all the time right against our window. So highly recommended, made by Aspects, again, which is an awesome company. All the products there are made in the United States of America. So next, I'm going to go put this on the window, and hopefully we can uh, get a hummingbird on there to show you too. So the last thing we got to do today is just get our window hummingbird feeder hung to the window. And um, yeah, basically just so you know, this feeder from Aspects, awesome suction cups that will do a great job on your window. Just always make sure your window is clean and kind of hard to tell, but I'm, also it's a little challenge. Make sure you got it straight and level, which I took a guess at it, but it looks pretty good. I'll double check when I go inside. So again, you first put the bracket on. There it goes. Suctioned up real nice there. So the bracket goes on first. Then you take the nectar reservoir and it just sets right on top. So super easy. Again, when you want to clean it, you just take it out, take it inside, and the suction cup stays on. Um, as you can tell, I did not put mine on with the ant moat just because I never get any ants here, luckily. If I did, I'll, I keep the ant moat inside, so I'll put it on there. But for now, it's just I like the way it looks a little bit better without the ant moat, but and I don't really need it. So yeah, from there, I'm going to go inside and just wait to see when some hummingbirds show up. All of the film you're about ready to watch was actually shot from my iPhone while I was sitting in my kitchen looking out at the hummingbirds. And as you can see, because of the way this feeder was designed, it gives awesome views of the hummingbirds. 